Aloha, this is uh, Juan Gomez and GR Literatus, students at BYU Hawaii. Uh, we are going to present an article called Work Smarter with Smart Tax, written by Jennifer M. Mueller and uh, published by the Journal of Accountancy in November 2002. The key, functions, uh, the key function of this article is how to work with Smart Tax on Microsoft Excel. So we have created a spreadsheet in uh, Microsoft Excel uh, with a list of investors and two lists of stocks, stock number one and stock number two. Um, we could easily go to a website and find the stock price and uh, input the price so see where, where we are. Or uh, we can use the smart tax, which is an option that uh, would allow us to see a stock information um, to automatically input it into Excel. So to activate a smart tax, we go to the office button and we go to Excel options. Uh, in Excel options, we go to proofing. Instead of proofing, we go to autocorrect options. And then we go to smart tax. Okay. There's this icon that says label data with smart tax. You click on it. And then um, he, it, it's over here. It says show a smart tax as. You can choose um, as a button only or indicator and button. Or you can. You cannot have it at all. So we're going to choose indicator and button. And also we're going to choose to embed a smart tax on this workbook. We hit OK. We hit OK. And then GR is going to take it over from, from now on. All right, this is GR. So after what, um, what we've done so far, you can see through going to each of this um, stock, you can see this purple um, at the lower corner with an icon this is exactly the smart tag so you can see that one in it there are like a bunch of smart tag icons so I, I clicked on it and there's a bunch of options you can do with it basically these are a link that will help you give you more information on what kind of stocks you have so you will all of it get the same thing so what we're going to do right now to figure out the current stock price we will work on the Microsoft one this one right here and see through some of this action. So first one we have this one to insert refreshable stock price. Then as you click on this one, we want to put in a new sheet so we can see through everything and it will not overlap your sheet that you're working on. So click on that one, you click OK. So as you can see this is the stock codes provided by the EBS Amazon money. Um, this is a different sheet so you might want to keep track on it and you want to change this sheet for so we name it and just call it the Microsoft stock and here we go so this this is the information we can see this one right here this is the um, last pricing for the stock from Microsoft so when you go when we go back to the sheet that we're working on so what we're gonna do is basically just put a link from here from the stock price and you go back to the new worksheet link this one right here there you go enter and there you go you're just gonna do basically just gonna do everything on on all of the um, stocks so this is how this smart tag works it's pretty handy it's not only just getting up a stock price from the stock using this one right here you can also get automatically to the um, stock codes directly online once you click on this one right here just for you guys to see it and here we go it gives you a direct link to what's going on just on that stock uh, you just click on JP Morgan so you get all the information that you need so it's a pretty handy application right here and that's how you use the smart tag Now this time we're going to show you how to take it out. So basically it's just pretty easy. You might want to take it done one by one if you want to. There are six smart actions all the way right here. You remove the smart tag and as you click that one, there you go, it's gone. If you want to put it back, just do the same thing that we've done in the first part of this video. If you want to take off all of it, so what you want to do is just do exactly what I want to set. You go on Excel options and then you go on proofing 
let's go to options and then we're going back to smart tags and just undo everything take the one off you take the embedded smart tags in your workbook and you put nothing on it and then it will all be gone and that's it thank you so much aloha